Okay, I'm going to import the OBJ mesh and I'm going to ZEA to zoom extends all viewports and I'll go into rendered mode for perspective. In the materials panel I'll create a new custom material and in the color channel of that material I'll add this uh, color box texture drag and drop it to the mesh. Now this mesh is a disjoint mesh so it's separate mesh pieces. You can see the gaps in between them. Uh, currently the mesh does not have any UVs so it doesn't have any texture space set up for it uh, because otherwise I'd see the texture on it um, in some regard. Some little black stripe there. So if we go into properties texture mapping I can see it's set to by surface and for mesh objects this would be um, any UVs that it carries over. Um, but to me this looks like a scan mesh. Uh, it's all tries and then it looks like it was probably remeshed to clean up the scan or, or maybe it was this limited number of points. Regardless we need to assign some UVs to it. Now if you assigned a planar mapping method then you would be projecting that texture from a single plane and that would be like a slide projector and you're going to get overlaps. There's no perfect uh, direction. If we project it from the bottom up, we're going to see some strangeness in the middle of, from the back. It's going to stretch it out on the sides. So the best thing to do here is just use the unwrap command and that's going to flatten out each one of these separate islands. So just unwrap. The command line says select seams, but we've got these separate islands already, so you just press enter and um, the material was already assigned and you can see the result. So you've got two options for changing the repeat now. You can do it in properties, texture mapping, UVW repeat and this is um, preferable if you have lots of textures in the material in my opinion. So I'll lock this together and you know, make it three. So U and V are tiling this in three now and if we go over to the material in the texture itself, this is your other option for changing the repeat value. And these two methods will work together. Now this repeat value is what the UV editor will show, this one by one. But if you would like to uh, repeat it here, you can instead simply just reverse the process, make this one instead. And some people like to keep the properties repeat at one and then do it all in the material like that. Same thing. So if you go into Properties UV Editor and drag out your rectangle, you can see the uh, islands that we get here for the UVs. And then Apply if you make any changes. Uh, generally, I don't do any applying of the material or editing the material or editing the texture mapping when the UV Editor is open. If the UV editor is open, I pretty much just do whatever I'm going to do with the meshes here and adjust as, as I like and then apply the change and then you go and make any changes to materials after that. I hope that helps.